I think the thing that most people are surprised to find out is that I studied English literature at UCLA, and then I studied law, and I got a law degree, University of Akron. I'm from Los Angeles, California. Hollywood Hills, the Las Feliz District, actually right near the observatory. I grew up kind of looking out over the city of LA, this kind of ocean of lights that goes off to the horizon. I had seen documentaries about that and I realized, well, here's a monster that isn't just make-believe. This is potentially a real thing. So by chance one time, I met some witnesses in LA and I remember speaking to them, and that was probably my first wow moment, because I realized, yeah, these guys probably really did see one. But the really big aha was when I went up to the area where they had seen one, and I actually found tracks. I kind of felt that spirit of, okay, I want to prove these things are there. My passions outside of Bigfooting are kind of related to Bigfooting in that I always found myself attracted to things that I was terrified by at first. Some of the other scary things were surfing and body surfing in very big waves. Again, scary, scary, scary when I was a kid, but the more I got better at it, the more I did it, the more of a thrill it became. What I would say to all the aspiring Bigfooters who may really be into this subject but are kind of afraid to do something about it, I would say learn about the subject, especially learn about maps and all sorts of map resources that you can now find online. You've got to go to places where other people won't venture. That's really an adventure too, and that's something that'll really get you hooked and want to stick with it.